Now there folks, I'm on my way to my mate Mark. Mark is uh, a long-standing friend of mine, in fact he used to be my next door neighbour. Mark is a man of many talents. Uh, he rides motorcycles, he's a businessman in Tropinia, uh, kite surfs. Oh, yeah, I better put on my seatbelt. One of Mark's special talents is baking. So we're gonna go and visit Mark today and see what he's up to. Hello. I suppose I love bread, but I really don't like the supermarket bread. That super bread, which is just, it's, it's, it's awful. So I just wanted to find a nice bread. And one day, Sarah, my daughter, showed me a YouTube video of uh, binging with Babish. And it was quite appealing because it's a no-need bread. This old guy, Jim Leahy, he's the guy who, who started a no-knead bread. And I was looking for a simple, easy bread to make that gives you a crusty crust and a sourdough type of inside. I think we've nailed it. It's the easiest thing to make and it's part of my daily routine now. You know what, this bread is so good. I made a loaf and I'm quite lazy, so I didn't really want to wash the, the bowl that I mixed the bread in. And I thought, well, I'm going to make some bread tomorrow. So I made a, another batch. And the next day I made bread. And I'm quite lazy and I didn't want to wash the bowl. So I made another batch and I just keep going. So I've got fresh bread every day. I need 400 grams of flour and I only use this, I must say, I really like this. I, I think uh, unbleached is part of the reason I use this. It just, the less chemicals the better and that's what I want. I love bread, I love eating bread. I really honestly haven't found anything that's as easy to make as this. There's four ingredients, 400 grams of flour, salt, yeast, and water. And it's water that comes out of the tap. It doesn't have to be tepid or 40 degrees or sun. It's just, this basic bread is the easiest thing. Next batch, 400 grams. Yeah.
yeast. Two spoons of yeast. Yeah, I don't wash the bowl every time because I want, this is sourdough, I want my starter culture, I want, I want it, I want the yeasty, I want the, the good bacteria in here. It's good. I need water. Three hundred mils water doesn't have to be warm. Just uh, straight out the tap, in it goes. And remember, this is no need bread. So there's really no, no kneading. All you've got to do is mix it up and allow the yeast to do what it does. But the result of this after 24 hours is, uh, is what makes the good bread. And uh, it appeals to me. And then no kneading. So it takes me about five minutes to prepare a batch of bread, five minutes to get my, my gas fire going, and, and uh, an hour to cook my bread while I'm doing my things that I would normally do in the morning before I go to work. And when I come down to eat breakfast, I take out steaming hot fresh bread exactly as I like it with no preservatives and none of the bad stuff. I've never eaten more bread in my life and I'm losing weight. <laughs> you need a shot in this because you see how stringy it is. The types of bread that I really like eating are the French baguette. I have good memories of spending time in Paris with Parisians and they have a culture around eating baguette at night and slicing butter onto it in the morning after toasting what was left over the kind of stale baguette from the night before and spooning on strawberry jam. I mean, it goes against everything that the Brits and these, uh, I don't know, these low carb, high protein people want. and that's me. Butter, sugar, jam, and bread every day. As binging with Babish says, this helps with the droppage.
and that'll be done in about 45 minutes. Fresh hot bread. Some of the favorite things that I like eating with bread. In the morning, I've eaten homemade marmalade, and I've got a great recipe for homemade marmalade, but that's another series. <laughs> <laughs> hummus, I make hummus, homemade hummus, and that's pretty good on the bread. Butter and salt, if it's before dinner. Um, oil and vinegar, Italian style. Um, slicing cheese, it's, the list is endless. I mean, cheese and chili, cheese and mayo, anything with bread. Anything with bread. I love eating bread. <laughs> My hat again, Clive. Oh, yeah. You just hate my hairstyle. This is the best part. Can you smell it? If only you could smell it, eh? If only you could smell this. And that's what I look for. That flip and smell in the house in the morning. You can't beat fresh bread. Come on. Take a look. It's hot, hot, hot. I know one day I'm going to forget my gloves and pick up this lid. But for now... That looks oh, good. Mamma mia! You see the steam? This thing's steaming. Lovely stuff. Ooh, woo. right there. Tastes so good. Another good bread. Man, ah, bread and beer. Cheers to bread. Jim, Jim Leahy, don't forget that name. He was the guy that started it. How do you spell and Jim Leahy? J I M. <laughs> <laughs> I make so much bread, I give it away. <laughs> I do, I give it to my folks, I give it to my mates, half a loaf, because I need some every day. I love hot bread and, and I give the rest away. That's what I do. <laughs> the, what was it, the Siena? What was that, that, what's that recipe? What is that recipe, man? With the figs and the pistachios and all uh, the nuts. That's the, in the panforte. The panforte de Siena. Yeah, that one. Um, I've made that a few... I started with that recipe. I followed the recipe a few times. Then I started tweaking it. It's definitely one of my favorites. A lot of work. Quite an expensive thing to make. But my goodness, you want to eat your fingers when you do start eating that. Action. 
This is my Dutch oven. I've opted to use gas instead of electricity. So uh, we open up the gas. Just double check my pan is inside or my pot. With uh, what I've done is I've got a spacer so my bread doesn't burn on the bottom. And I need to get this nice and warm. Fire it up, maximum heat. And let's get the gas going. There we go. Double check. Nice flame. This will be ready in 10 minutes, I reckon. One, got it. The guy binging with Babish What's his name? It's just binging with. I don't know his full name, but just his. He is binging with Babish, and then he has a sub channel called <laughs> Basics with Babish, where he does basic cooking skills. And in one of those episodes, it was bread. And one of the breads he made was this movie. Do I still need my hat on? Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay, so what's the question I'm going to ask you? What inspires you to bake bread? 